this is Ekantna here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem. We are going to prove this using mathematical induction. So, let's get started. Problem. Prove that a plus a r plus a r square plus so on plus a r power n minus 1 equals to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 for r greater than 1 and all n belongs to natural numbers. Solution. Let P of N be the given statement. Then P of N such that A plus A R plus A R square plus so on plus A into R power N minus 1 equals to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. Here we are given condition that r is greater than 1 and for all n belongs to capital N. Here capital N represents natural numbers. Okay. That is for n belongs to set of natural numbers we have to show that the statement is true right fine so here you're having sum of n terms which is equals to a into r power n bar minus 1 by r minus 1 so this is the first term second term third term and so on nth term let's consider nth term by tn let's represent nth term by tn then tn equals to a into r power n minus 1 if you put n equals to 1, you'll get a into r power 1 minus 1, which is equal to a into r power 0. Anything power 0 is 1, so a into 1 is a, which is our LHS. When we put, that is t1, first term, okay? Right. When n equals to 2, put 2 in the place of n. We get a into r power 2 minus 1, which is equal to a r power 1, equals to a r, which is your second term, right? Likewise, if you put n equals to 3, you'll get the third term. a into r power 3 minus 1 is a r square, which is our third term, okay? So here we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1 and we'll assume that the statement is true for some n, n equals to k which belongs to natural numbers and finally we'll do the statement for n equals to k plus 1, okay? Fine. When n equals to 1, LHS, when n equals to 1, we'll take only one term that is the first term from LHS that is A and coming to RHS put n equals to 1 in the RHS term you will get A into R power 1 minus 1 by R minus 1 which is equal to A into R minus 1 by R minus 1 here R minus 1 gets cancelled which is equal to A so here LHS equals to RHS therefore LHS equals to RHS, which is nothing but the statement is true for n equals to 1. That is, therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. Okay. Likewise, you can prove for n equals to 2, 3 and so on. Okay. Let's check for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, take sum of first two terms from LHS, A plus AR. Now coming to RHS, okay, you can write this as A times 1 plus R by taking A common from these two terms, right? Now coming to RHS, we have A into R power N, right? So put N equals to 2, so you get A into R square minus 1 by R minus 1. Again, you can write this as r square minus, you can write this 1 as 1 square by r minus 1. 
is equal to a into r square minus 1 is of a square minus b square form which is equal to a plus b into a minus b right so we can write this as r plus 1 into r minus 1 and the denominator will be as it is so here you can cancel r minus 1 which is equal to a times r plus 1 okay or you can also write it as a times 1 plus r so here lhs equals to rhs therefore lhs equals to rhs from this we can say that p of n is true for n equals to 2 from this we can say that p of 2 is true okay likewise you can check for n equals to 3 4 and so on. all right now let's assume that the statement is true for n equals to k assume that p of n is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers okay fine then p of k will be a plus a r plus a r square plus so on plus a into r power k minus 1 equals to a into r power k minus 1 by r minus 1. Okay, fine. So now we have p of k which is true, right? Since we have assumed that p of k is true. Okay, now consider p of k plus 1 which is equals to sum of k plus 1 terms from LHS. Okay. Here you are having sum of k terms, right? So now we will consider k plus 1 terms. a into r power k minus 1 plus a into r power put k replace k by k plus 1. Okay. So, this equals to, since we have sum of k terms equals to a into r power k minus 1 by r minus 1. So, we will replace sum of k terms by a into r power k minus 1 by r minus 1. Okay. Plus a into r power k plus 1 minus 1. Here plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. So this is equals to a into r power k minus 1 by r minus 1 plus a into r power k. Okay. Then this becomes a into r power k minus a plus r minus 1 times a into r power k. r minus 1 times a into r power k by r minus 1. So this equals to a into r power k minus a r into or sorry plus a into r power k into r minus plus into minus is minus. So, you get minus here. 1 into a r power k is a into r power k by r minus 1. So, here a into r power k plus and minus a into r power k. This is equals to minus a plus a into r power k into r by r minus 1. 
Okay, you can write this as minus a plus a into. You are having r power k into r power of 1, right? Since base are equal, so powers must be added. So that you will get r power k plus 1. By r minus 1. Now take a common from these two terms. Or you can rewrite this as a into r power k plus 1 minus a by r minus 1. Now take a common from the numerator. You get a times r per k plus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1. Which is our RHS for n equals to k plus 1. See you have, you got a into r per n minus 1 by r minus 1. Right? For n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of K plus 1 such that A plus AR plus AR square plus so on plus AR per K minus 1 plus AR per K plus 1 minus 1 equals to A into R per K plus 1 minus 1 by r minus 1. So, the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 whenever p of k is true. Okay. Therefore, p of n is true for n equals to k plus 1 whenever p of k is true. Okay. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true. Right. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of K plus 1 is true whenever P of K is true. Therefore, By the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement is true. For R greater than 1 and all N belongs to natural numbers. Okay. We have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.